Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome back. Today's workout is an upper body focus with some power exercises, so let's get to it. All right, so today's workout is an upper body strength focus. Uh, I have a few power exercises. You need a variety of dumbbells. If you have a dead ball or a weighted medicine ball to throw today, grab that. If you don't, don't worry. I'm gonna have you do dumbbell uh, push press, okay? So let's get started with a quick warm up. We're gonna get you in and out. All right, here we go. I want you to bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Do a half circle all the way down in front, chin to chest, over right ear to right shoulder. Good. Back and forth. Just a few of these warming up today. All right. So today's workout, we're going to focus on chest first, then shoulders, then back. All right. We're gonna do a little power exercise on each one to start and then move through our strength. All right, all the way around, counterclockwise, or sorry, clockwise. <laughs> and then let's go counterclockwise. Either way, go both directions for me. All right, let's just do some shoulder rolls here, opening up. Shoulders to ears, down and back, all the way around. Good, now forward. Feels so good, especially if this, this is early morning for you, <laughs> as it is for me. All right, let's lay down. We're gonna open up here, knees bent, arms like an alligator okay that's what i say at least let's go ahead and open up i want you to open and look away from those knees get a good stretch come back in close that mouth open up good make sure you're breathing through this rotation feels so good open we're gonna do two more here we go close open for two and close oh that feels good hopefully on each one you felt yourself open up just a little bit further all right if not pause and spend some more time on it here we go open up and back in i love the number five we're going to do five of these number two open up and close number three good and four and close good last one five open up every time she wants something she call and check in and close good work all right get that done let's go ahead and do some arm circles small little circles here so five more five four three Two and one, reverse it. One, two, three, four, and five. A little bit bigger, medium. One, two, three, four, five. Good, really big for me. One, two, three, four, and five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Good work. All right, two bumps. And a reach. And up. Two bumps and a reach. All right, today's uh, quote that I put up is I can be a better me than anyone else. <laughs> Diana Ross. I love that. That's so cute. That's so fun, right? You can be a better me than anyone else. No one is like you. All right, so don't compare yourself. You do you. I'm going to guide you through this workout today. You just do what you can. Um, I'll try to allow for some modifications where needed. All right, oh my goodness, that's time. That went really quick. We're gonna do a power push off on the wall real quick. Get to a wall at an incline. I want you to push off and land, okay? With bent, soft elbows. Push and land. Don't go too far off that wall. It's a quick little push to catch. Three, two, and one. All right, we have 10 seconds. We're gonna do a dumbbell chest press now. A little bit longer than that first one, so I want you to come to the ground or a bench at home. 
Just a good regular chest press here. Pressing up overhead, oh, um, weights right over those shoulders. Sorry, I let the, the warm up get away from me. It was feeling so good. But with that, on the plyo push up that we're doing, that little power push up, it's only 20 seconds. I'll give you some more cues on the next one. But you're going to see it two more times. If you can do them from the floor, you can do them there. We're here just a little bit longer. And three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna put those weights down. We're gonna go into a fly now. All right, we're just staying right here. We'll come up for that push-up, plyo push-up later. All right, on this fly, I want your elbows fairly wide, but instead of letting those hands flare out real far and pull on that bicep, I want you to pull them in a little bit over over the elbows. So I'm still going fairly wide. I'm just not letting the hands fall outside too far of those elbows. Still going wide and squeezing, pulling in. Good. This is a long one, so watch your weight. The chest press that we do, I want you to focus on some heavier weight if you can. All right, it's not as many reps. On this one, we're gonna go pretty high rep. And you'll find this through all my circuits today. The first one will be some sort of plyo power type exercise. We'll go into a really good um, lower rep or, or here, a uh, shorter interval where you're gonna push some heavier weight. And we're gonna go into some lighter weight with an exercise like this one, just um, really working the time and reps, okay? All right, so set those aside. Just make sure they stay there because we have two more sets this way. Um, this way, I did give us 30 seconds. I want to go over this plyo push up again. A lot of times, when somebody pushes off the wall, they push all the way, arms down, and just rest. I really want you to do a small push to catch. All right, you can angle yourself up higher to make it easier or come lower. Here we go. All right, just a little push. You can do this off of an incline bench or off of a bench at an incline as well and make it a little tougher. Push off and catch. When you catch, just like landing in a jump squat, you want soft elbows. You want to bend them, bend into it, and that's rest. Good. All right, grab some good weight. I want you to work hard on this chest press. Three, two, and one. I didn't give us a lot of rest. All right, we're just gonna move through these three. It's gonna be tough. Just three sets and we're done. Oh, there we go. Woo, pick the good weight, pick the good weight. <laughs> you should be feeling it on the second round. You're doing great. Hang in there. Good job. Be very concentrated and focused today. Push. Make sure those weights come up over those shoulders so you have good stability. Woo! Three, two, and one. Nice work. Grab your next set of weights. Remember, this is a minute here, a little bit longer. All right? So make sure we have a weight that we can handle for that time. Just see, uh, just base it off of last, uh, the last circuit, okay? The last set we did. I was okay. It got to be pretty, pretty tiring, but it worked. And just so you know, I have 15 here. If that helps you adjust yours, as you get to know me, you'll, you'll know whether you're 10 pounds heavier than me on the weights. Maybe you're five or 10 less than what I normally do. We'll kind of get in sync. Good. Squeeze. Again, we're gonna protect that bicep and that shoulder by keeping the weight pretty much over that elbow, okay? So instead of flaring way out to the side here, we're still really wide. I can still get that squeeze and pull in here at the top, all right? Press and squeeze in. Good, three, two, and one. Oh, I don't know if you're feeling it already, but I am, but I will say that I feel a little sore today. <laughs> from the workouts earlier this week. So we are going back in 20 seconds to that plyo push-up. If this is not challenging enough at the wall, 
find a chair that's inclined and sturdy. Um, maybe it's a bench that you have at home and push off there, okay? All right, remember to land soft. So with bent elbows, here we go in five, four, three, two, and one, 20 seconds. So don't push too far off. It's a small couple inches off the wall. Push to catch. You got it, power. 20 seconds, get ready for that chest press. It's our last round. Three, two, and one. Woo, good work. All right, we're back down. Only 10 seconds here, grab the weight. It's gonna be tough this time. All right, try to stick with the same weight. If you are already fatigued, go ahead, because you wanna have good form. Grab some lighter weight, not much go for this third set, okay? Good work. Push. I know it's tough, but this is our last one with chest today, so let's make it count. Let's get through it together. Good, you can grunt. <laughs> I don't care. Three, two, and one, nice work. All right, we had those flies. A minute, a little bit longer here. Here we go. Nice and wide, I want it wide so you can get a good fly at the top here, okay? But as wide as I'm going, I'm still keeping those hands just barely flared out or right almost over the elbow, just slightly out, not too far. Good, you got it, squeeze, I'm feeling it. Trying to think about our workouts <laughs> earlier this week. <laughs> oh, it's a little tender, just a little tender today. It's all good though, it's a good, it's that good kind of sore. Good. We're getting close here, 20 seconds to go. You're doing great, we're gonna have some rest. We're gonna move on to shoulders. And again, I tend to do a lot of these chest exercises from the floor. I don't bother getting the bench out much. Uh, for the YouTube, but if you have a bench or a ball, feel free to do these from that. Three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work. Oh, there we go. We got it. Set those weights aside. Let's talk about what we need for our next set. Same sort of interval scheme, okay? Oh, I love these days. Just a good focus, right? All right, so we're gonna do an overhead throw. This is a throw. I love throwing, I love sl slamming. I don't do a lot of it here on the videos. If you wanna see more of this, please let me know. Please ring our bell also, so you get notifications. Comment and let me know what you wanna see. I love, love, love hitting, slamming. It works out all the frustrations of my day um, or the day before, but we're gonna do a throw catch, okay? Um, you can stand on this or kneel. So if you don't have that, I'm gonna have you do just a dumbbell push press, okay? So it's a dip to press. You gotta use some heavier weight. Then we're gonna go into a regular shoulder press, and then we're gonna a strict press, and then we're gonna do a lateral raise. Oh, we gotta get started. Three, two, and one. So I'm gonna throw 20 seconds. This is my little power. Just throw and catch. This is about 12 pounds. This is what I have for now. I have some sand bells. I have medicine balls. If you don't own one, oh man, I highly recommend to buy one. We'll start adding some links and rest at the bottom of our, or at the in the comments, or in the description, sorry. All right, we gotta do a strict press overhead. Grab those weights. Right outside, press overhead. Good. You got it. This is 40 seconds, we have 30 seconds here. Now, if you didn't have that ball, you were doing a dip to press, okay? A little bit of a push press with some heavier weight maybe. Then you grab a set of lighter weight and go for that strict press. 10 seconds. I'm gonna have to dip on this one a little bit, I think. <laughs> Woo! I feel it. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds rest. We're gonna do a lateral arm raise. I not sure where I, I'm going to be on this. I'm gonna try eight pounds. I might have to drop a minute. It's kind of a long time. We can do palms down, shoulder height here. If 
that bugs your shoulder, try turning those thumbs up and heading out to the side and see how that goes, okay? Here we go. 45 seconds, this is a long minute. You may have to drop your weight halfway through to keep moving, and that is fine. What a great way to build strength. A little drop set here, okay? It's gonna to be tough. So that's what we're doing today on this upper body. Trying to challenge yourself in a different way. Oh, to get gain that lean muscle, right? 20 seconds, or maintain it. <laughs> oh. 14 seconds, you're doing it. We're gonna have a little bit of rest after this before we go through this again. Three sets today. Nice and simple, but not easy. Three, two, and one. Woo, good, rest. All right, if you want, just get a little stretch in that shoulder. Keep those shoulders down, hug that arm in. It's a good time to do that. We have 15 seconds. Again, push press with dumbbells. It's a dip, it's not a squat. It's a little dip to get over that sticky point and that, those weights should be heavy or you're gonna throw and toss a little uh, weighted ball, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go. Oh. I almost thought about putting a squat press in here. I didn't want legs or a thruster for you guys, but I didn't want legs because we're gonna have a good leg day too. Get it up there as high as you can and catch it. Good. Woo. Rest. Oh boy, I don't know this time around. I think I think I'm gonna go. You know what? I'll just put them both there. I'll do a drop set. Better to try. Better to pick up that heavier weight and see how many you can get and drop the weight if you have to. Because guess what? I might just get through this the whole time, but I wouldn't know unless I tried. All right, so. Try it out, if not, just go lighter. Ooh, I don't know. Keep good form, okay? You feel yourself swaying back or putting those legs into there. If you feel that form going, please drop the weight and switch. 10 seconds. All right, if you've made it this far, let's go for it. I'll even let you do a little push press here. If you need to, to get through it. Three, two, and one. Oh, I'm really gonna figure out what my, uh, what my uh, weightlifting face looks like, right, on those. <laughs> All right, lateral arm raises. Again, I'm gonna start with the heavier. Boy, I gotta mess of weights over here. Let's start with the heavier and see how it goes. I wanna pick up those light weights, trust me. I know you do too. But if you don't test yourself, you'll never know what you can do, okay, or what you can accomplish. Goodness, even if you do four with the heavier weight and then drop, you've gained something there, right? Next time, it's five. Then it's six or seven. Next thing you know, you're doing them all this way. That's why I like to pick up that heavier weight and progress. Good work. Woo! Feeling that 50 or 25 seconds to go here. My goodness. We'll have one more round and then we'll, we'll go to back. Doing great. I really appreciate you joining me today. Oh, we are posting daily. Yes, we are. Daily workouts. <laughs> If you like this video, please subscribe. Please give us a comment. Try out the rest of them. We're resting, we're resting. Give it a try. Comment, let us know. If we don't know what you wanna see or how we can help, maybe you like this, but you need something else, let us know. I am happy to help, happy to try new things out. All right, 15 seconds to go. Uh, let's see, that's back to that toss, which I love. So let's grab something to throw here again, if not a little dip to press with some good weight. Three, two, and one. Here we go. If you have any questions on what kind of medicine balls or dead balls to buy, let me know. This is a spree, I love it. I'm not sure what it's filled with, like a gel. It's nice and soft. Three, two, and one. Our slam days at the gym are called therapy days. <laughs> All right, I forget what I did last time. I'm gonna to try to do that bigger weight. Okay, here we go. Strict press, that means no dipping. All right, just pressing with no momentum. From that dip at all, no dip. 
Woo. Good, do your best. Don't feel like you're failing. Don't look at it as, oh, I had to drop weight, I failed. No, if you did so many reps with that weight, look at that as a positive, right? Hey, on my third set, I got through six of them with this kind of weight, that's good, right? Five seconds, three, two, and one. Oh, I cannot wait to see that face. All right, we got it. Here we go, whoo, lateral arm raises out to the side to shoulder height. All right, right here, shoulder height, no swinging, good control, up and down. If you have a mirror, check out and see how it's going. I noticed that one arm likes to go a little higher than the other. So I'm gonna watch it. Make sure that they both come up about the same height, but not over the shoulders today. So we're working the weight, all right? Good, inhale as you bring the weight down. Exhale as you lift it up towards shoulder height. Good work. Nice job. 12 seconds here and we've done it. Three sets, we're moving on to back. Seven. Three, two, and one. Whew. Nice work, we have a minute's rest. Oh my goodness. Let's stretch that out, bring it across the chest here. Good work. All right, because these are intense, because we're doing that same muscle group with the three different exercises, um, giving us some rest here. <laughs> All right, next one, we're gonna do a bent over row catch. All right, um, I honestly don't know what kind of weight I wanna use here on this, but let me just demonstrate it real quick. You're gonna go ahead and bring it up into a row and then let it go and catch it. Okay, just a little, if you feel comfortable, watch your floors, I don't know where you are. You can even bring it out here to the side, whatever works best. A little release and a catch, okay? And then we're gonna do an underhand row, right here, rowing, pulling back. And then we have pullovers from the floor on our back. Okay, so we'll get to lay down, use those lats a little bit, give a rest. All right, oh, three, two, one, we gotta get going, I'm not even sure I'm ready. Here we go, just 20 seconds with those catches. So quick turnover, little catch and release. Good. Woo! Watch me drop one of these, right? Make sure that you're not gonna ruin your floors wherever you are, okay? All right, oh, sorry, put those down. Bring them, bring them back. We have that bent over row underhand. Now, a couple things I'm always careful about. It really depends on your core stamina. We're bent over a couple sets here, about a minute total. So just be careful. If you start to feel your back pull, I want you to come over one a little bit further, a little more level with the ground so that one, we're pulling into the back and not our delts too much. Or you could do a single here, I'll try to tell you halfway, and then do the other so that you can support yourself, okay? 10 seconds here. I'm kind of squeezing my glutes as I push back to engage them to take off that pressure from on the butt back, okay? Good, whew. That's a lot to think about, I guess. All right, we have pullovers from the floor. Lay down. Whew. Here we go. Pull all the way over, no swinging. All right, good control both directions. Now, I could feel this in my forearms if I wanna focus there, it's not the focus. I want you to pull, keep those shoulders down away from your ears, no, no shrugging. And I want you to squeeze under your arms, okay? I want you to squeeze right there on that muscle, your lats, just squeeze and then pull over. Put that focus right there. Good, we're here a minute, remember. A little bit longer, but that's good because if I'm on the floor here, I have a hard time getting the weight I need to do a few reps. Some more reps here is good. I have shaky arms, I don't know about you. Woo, we will get through this though. We have two more rounds after this, and that is it. Three, two, and one, rest, good. 
Good. All right, so I did not write biceps with 30 seconds. That's it. We'll go into those row uh, catch there. Um, I did not write in biceps and triceps because I wanted to keep this short, and my arms are pretty dead, but I will try to put in a link here today uh, to another workout that at the end we did like a bicep tricep finisher, and you could go there, okay? Or I could just tell you what to do at the end. Here we go. Row and catch. A little release. And it seems like it should be fun, and that it shouldn't feel like much, but it's tough. It starts to wear. 20 seconds is a good amount of time. You might be able to take it up to 30. And rest. Good work. Whew. Underhand rows. If you want to do support, I'll try to watch the time and tell you when 20 seconds is up. You can use your knee to help support your back, okay? Here we go. Watch the clock just a bit. I'll try to tell you when it's halfway. Sometimes I forget. All right. Woo, that's it. We're getting biceps here though. 20 seconds to go, that's your halfway if you're gonna do a single arm supported. Uh, so I didn't do bicep tricep, but let me tell you, underhand grip puts a lot of that bicep in there. So you're getting it today, so don't worry. Three, two, and one. But I will say, these are pullovers. Come on down. I'm gonna try, I have not done this, but no, it's a minute. I'm gonna stay here. Here we go, come back down. Pulling over. Again, you gotta squeeze under your armpits there to get good, um, to make good use out of this, this exercise, okay? To get the most out of it, pull over. Woo. So again, back to biceps and triceps. I love on upper body day to typically isolate and use them, okay? Not really in a lot of the others, but I believe, we may touch on biceps and triceps again, but with that being said, when you're doing chest, when you're doing back, especially that underhand grip, we are using those biceps and triceps already. Good, blow that air out as you pull over. Inhale as you release back. Good control on that release back, okay? You wanna protect those shoulders. Don't let that weight just fall. Three, two, and one rest, oh my. <laughs> All right, high five, we are almost there. One more round. I'll give you a quick little easy bicep, tricep workout if you want. You could do something similar here. Maybe we'll put up a link to, to one, but just, uh, just know that we have worked them. I'm sure you feel them as I do. Here we go. We're gonna bend over. We have five seconds, this is our last round. All right. It's really good today. Here we go. A little catch, a little road to catch here. Maybe if you're at home and you have some really nice, I'm in a garage, if I drop my weight, I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> Make sure you have some padding. Three, two, and one, good. You wanna put those weights down. Underhand row bent over. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. Try to bend over far enough that you're pulling into that, that uh, middle back, okay? When we start to come up here, we start to shrug and pull up into our traps and our rear delts. I want you to get that back. Whew, feel those biceps, see? They're working, right? We're halfway if you are doing one side at a time. Good. And again, I am pulling back towards my lower rib cage. Even here, a lot of times people want to shrug and pull up towards your chest. Pull back, keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Woo, that's a rest. All right. Okay, it's my last one. I'm gonna experiment, but I may have to go back to the other way. We're just gonna see here. Here we go. Last round today. Squeeze those lats. Ooh, yeah, that's heavy. Oh boy, we're gonna try to make it. We'll see. 
good. We got it. I've got the sweat going. I think I've reached my, my max today. Oh, but I came in here a little sore. So I hope you're feeling this the same. It's nice to kind of slow down and really focus. I like a lot of hybrid complex um, moves for total body conditioning. It's kind of my, my thing. I love those, but it's good to slow it down. Really focus on what muscle, muscles we're using. Isolate them out. Three, two, I'm gonna get one more in here. Whoa, yeah, I should feel that. Okay, that's a rest, that's a wrap. Thank you again for joining me. We're gonna do a slight stretch here, just real quick, and then we're gonna get you out of here today, all right? So let's go ahead, just to start, let's bring that, grab your left wrist with your right hand. I want you to pull really, really high up here. Elongate, get as tall as you can, and then just pull that left arm over the top of your body to the right. Hips flare out left. All right, get a good stretch. You should feel it all the way down your side, okay? Which is why I love this. We're gonna hold it here for a few seconds. Now, make sure you can breathe, okay? So if you feel that um, it's too hard to breathe, come out of it a bit and still feel that stretch, but make sure you're breathing through it. All right, now what I want you to do, we're not gonna stop yet. I want you to give it another tug, elongate, and then push a little deeper, just a little bit, still at a point where you can breathe through this. And let's hold it. I'm just got my right ear relaxed on my right arm. I'm not holding my head up, it's being supported. I can just hang out here for a while. <sighs> Breathing through it, whew, good work. Let's get a little back bend in there. Uh, fist into lower back, the small of your back, just reach back. Breathe here, a few seconds. Good, all right, right arm up, grab your left, or with your left hand, grab your right wrist, again, as tall as you can, I kind of wiggle, <laughs> wiggle it out. There, now rest that left ear on your left arm, side bend, pull that right arm across and over. Feel that stretch from your lats all the way down. Now, if we're tight, we tend to roll forward here. I want you to really stay back here. Breathe, make sure we're breathing. Now, I want you to give a little tug, get a little bit longer again on that right arm, and then move a little deeper. Again, still at a point where you can breathe and relax into it here. At least get somewhat comfortable. Ooh, all right. All right, we're gonna reach behind. I'm gonna interlace my fingers. If that's tough for you today, as I said before, grab a towel. Get somewhere on the towel, grab somewhere on the towel where you can at least reach back and get a little height here, okay? For some of us, this is very difficult. All right, I want you to work on it. You can roll out your chest muscles to help release them a bit and then just get into the stretch, okay? Here we go. Or you interlace your fingers. I just want you to push that chest out. Pull those shoulders back. This feels so good, especially when we spend so much of our time rounded forward in our day jobs, driving, spending time on the phone. <laughs> oh. All right, now I'm gonna try to wrap around. This might, maybe you're here, but the wrap around is hard. Uh, go ahead and grab your towel then, all right? So I'm gonna fall forward and try to bring these arms up, over, up and over. There you go, breathe. Good, come back to standing. Woo! All right, let's pull down. Pull those fingers down. Get a little stretch in the forearm here and the wrist. Good, all that grip on those rows and the catches. The push-ups, uh, the plyo push-ups can, if you're not careful, um, can also start to jam up the wrist a little bit and, and that can feel not so good. So be careful again, you gotta land light. Start at a high angle on those. 
All right, let's pull back as well. Up and back, good. Other side. Good, last one. Interlace those fingers, round out the back, chin to chest. All right, woo, good job, good job. High five again, thank you so much. Be sure to ring that bell, leave us a comment. We hope to see you again. Have a great day.